yeah, boys, Trill JKU. Showing you guys his new Nino Mug Grapplers. He's on the 40 by 40, or 40 by 15.50, actually. Yeah, and then we got uh, 20 inch ATX slabs. Black powder coated ring, of course. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of comparison here on these ATX slabs. So you guys, Trill JKU, how he's got the, uh, the 20 inch ones, how I've got the 17 inch ones on mine. Got this bumper on too, looking fresh. Got that, uh, that matte black powder coat, looking really clean. It's a comp stinger, obviously, cause it's a lot longer than the uh, trail stinger. the front control arms these are the metal cloak adjustable arms obviously they have not been cleaned yet because um, I just got them back I'm gonna be doing that right now some cleaning some degreaser uh, obviously you know the parts that have not been exposed to the cleaning are gonna need some a uh, little bit of extra elbow grease there but that is no problem we're gonna get these nice and cleaned up and we're also probably gonna grease the joints too, so we're gonna make sure everything's nice and solid and we're gonna install them in the Jeep. All right, so I'm in the process of cleaning them. This is gonna be the lower one, so this is gonna be you know, the most exposed to like a pressure washer and all that stuff. So uh, not really sure how the zinc coating is going to do. I might actually end up finding a way to strip the zinc coating off or I might, you know, paint them with some other color or I might just leave them how they are. But um, they do look a lot cleaner, you know, condition wise. Everything is pretty much mint. The joints are awesome. Got all the buildup of the dirt and grime and stuff out of the joints. Make sure it's all nice and dry. So I'm going to be uh, lubing those up here pretty soon. So I'm going to get started on these and they should look pretty, pretty close to new. All right, so the front ones are all cleaned up. You guys can see here up close, joints are looking just like new now. So it's really cool. Gotta be doing the rears here soon.
Alrighty guys, excuse the noise here, but uh, so what I've got set up here, I've got the jack stands on the frame, obviously supporting the Jeep, and then I've got jack stands supporting the axle. So I can use this jack, uh, you know, to finesse the axle. I'm just gonna start with doing the lowers first. So that way I can, you know, rear the jack, have it on the jack stands, and then like kind of rotate the axle for the longer uh, adjustable arm. So basically I just started with the bottom two bolts here. And then I went to the upper ones, got my breaker bar to break it loose and hit it with an impact. So we got, you know, pretty much this arm completely out, stock arm, goodbye. All right, so I got the bolt in on the uh, upper portion, but uh, see, you know, I've got both the lower arms out, so I'm taking the jack and kind of pulling the axle uh, this way a little bit, with the upper arm still connected, so that way it'll make room for this longer arm to fit in. So I'm just gonna inch it back, get that bolt in, then do the other side. So as you guys can see, as the upper control arms are connected and we are pulling the bottom of the axle, the axle is naturally gonna wanna go like this, rotate that way, so that's gonna make the pinion angle go down, so you can see how that is more uh, flat. And it also puts the drive shaft at more of an angle going this way, you know, steeper up. So that's what we need the exhaust pistons for until we get an aftermarket drive shaft. Still, even then, the exhaust pistons still help even if you do have an aftermarket drive shaft. It allows for more clearance for the drive shaft on the exhaust pipe right there. Oh, and also a uh, caster angle, you know, having the axle, you know, straight instead of leaning forward like this, it's also gonna help the angles with the steering so your Jeep's not going like this off the highway. Alrighty, so I got both of the lower ones in. This side, I just went ahead and took the jack stands out from underneath the axle, kind of lowered and uh, raised the jack of the axle to kind of get this side in. So I was able to, uh, was able to change the uh, increments there just a little bit enough to where I can get that bolt in. So we are nice and solid there. All right, so we, uh, we're taking off this awesome uh, little exhaust shield for the upper control arm mounts. Not really sure, you know, if they're gonna be completely necessary, but we just gotta take out this little 10 millimeter bolt, flip it back so we can get to that 18 mil up on top there. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. We're also gonna do these exhaust spacers while we're under here. I got the five nut right here. The exhaust, uh, like the header and all that, way better on the 3.6, obviously, because the 3.8 is a really big pain trying to get this upper uh, passenger control arm out, bolt out. It's really not fun times. Yep, so there's that bolt, nice and easy. Now, here is the upper control arm, all good and out. Time to install the new one. All right. Let's up the arm bolt. Get that flag nut back there. Thanks to Laura, we don't have 
any uh, any crazy rust because this would have made this or that would have made this impossible. Literally. Could have used some uh, PB blaster or at least WD-40 something of some penetrating fluid to you know kind of help these rusty exhaust bolts come out a lot easier. All right, so all four arms in the front are currently all in. Got them all bolted in, just had to finesse with the axle. Um, on this side and that side, you get all the bolts to go in smoothly. So, you know, got the uppers in, all that good stuff. Basically, all I gotta do now is just tighten down the bolts for, uh, let's see, you got one up here, one right there, one right there, and one right there on each side, obviously. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack the Jeep up to where it gets off the jack stands at right height. So I'm gonna tighten it down. So we're gonna make sure that we're gonna prolong the life of the bushings so that's just something to kind of do you know that's not really like a big deal just uh something that can't hurt so we're going to do that all right guys all the control arms are in it's time to put the tires on kind of all tucked down give you guys a better uh look here at the all right so you guys can see the uppers and the lowers pretty good there pretty awesome All right guys, tires are back on. You guys can't really probably tell on camera, but uh, here in person, there's so much more of a, you know, like a space here from the, uh, the pinch seam and the Rubicon rail from the tire. So it's uh, pretty much pushed the axle forward a little bit. So that's awesome. It's gonna help with turning, rubbing, with flexing and all that good stuff. So yeah, it looks really awesome. It's got the axle where it's supposed to be. Yeah, all this looks really good. Just looking at the coil here, it looks nice and straight. So that's awesome. Looks like the caster is gonna be really good as well. Got the exhaust spacers in, all that good stuff. Yeah, really happy with how this turns out. I'm gonna take it on a test drive and see, see where we are on the uh, handling.